Don't lie, but don't tell the whole truth. This quote implies that there are situations where being completely honest can do more harm than good. At times, it may be necessary to withhold certain information or present it in a way that is not entirely truthful, while avoiding outright lies. To better understand this quote, let's take the example of a job interview. Imagine that the interviewer asks you if you have any weaknesses. If you were to tell them all your flaws, it might give the impression that you are not a suitable candidate for the job. On the other hand, if you completely lied and said that you have no weaknesses, it could damage your credibility if the interviewer later finds out the truth. So, what can you do? You could follow Gratian's advice and avoid lying while not telling the whole truth. Instead of mentioning all your weaknesses, you could focus on one or two minor ones that you have been working on improving. This will show that you are self-aware and are actively trying to better yourself. Another example could be a situation where a friend asks for your opinion on a project they have been working on. While you may not want to hurt their feelings, being overly positive may not be helpful either. Instead of lying and saying it's perfect, you could point out some aspects that need improvement while still acknowledging the effort they put into it. In essence, the quote suggests that in some situations, it's not necessary to reveal everything you know or feel, and that sometimes it's better to omit or modify certain details to achieve a desired outcome. By doing so, you can avoid unnecessary conflict, maintain relationships, and achieve your goals without compromising your integrity. Don't express your ideas too clearly. Most people think little of what they understand, and venerate what they do not. This quote suggests that people tend to value things that are not easily understood, while disregarding or undervaluing things that are more straightforward. Therefore, Gratian advises not to express ideas too clearly, as it may make them appear simplistic and unimpressive. To better understand this quote, let's take the example of a painting. Imagine you create a painting that is complex and abstract, with many layers of meaning and interpretation. Some people may find it difficult to understand at first, but they may appreciate it more as they spend time trying to decipher its meaning. On the other hand, if you create a painting that is simple and easy to understand, people may not appreciate it as much, even though it may still be beautiful in its own way. Similarly, when it comes to expressing ideas, if you state your ideas too clearly, people may not see the value in them. They may think that since they understand your ideas so easily, they must not be very important or profound. However, if you present your ideas in a more subtle or cryptic way, people may be more intrigued and interested in discovering the true meaning behind them. Another example could be a marketing campaign for a product. If you simply list all the features and benefits of the product in a straightforward manner, people may not find it very appealing or memorable. However, if you create an ad that is more mysterious or artistic, people may be more likely to remember it and be drawn to the product. In essence, Gratian's quote suggests that sometimes, it may be more effective to present ideas in a way that is not immediately clear, as it can create intrigue and a sense of mystery. This can lead people to place a higher value on the ideas or products presented in this way, even if they are not necessarily more complex or meaningful than those presented in a more straightforward manner. A wise man gets more use from his enemies than a fool from his friends.
This quote suggests that a wise person can learn and benefit more from their enemies than a fool can from their friends. Enemies can challenge and push us to be better. While friends may simply agree with us and not offer constructive criticism. To better understand this quote, let's take the example of a business competitor. Imagine you run a company that sells a product, and you have a competitor who also sells a similar product. Instead of viewing this competitor as a threat, you can view them as an opportunity to improve your own business. By analyzing their strengths and weaknesses, you can learn from them and make your own company even better. On the other hand, if you only associate with friends who always agree with you, you may not be challenged to grow or improve. Your friends may simply support your ideas without offering any critical feedback, which can be limiting in the long run. Another example could be in a personal context. If you have an enemy who dislikes you, they may be more likely to point out your flaws and mistakes than a friend who always sees you in a positive light. By listening to this criticism, you can identify areas where you can improve and work to become a better person. In essence, this quote suggests that having enemies can be a valuable learning opportunity if we approach them with an open mind and a willingness to learn. By using our enemies to challenge and motivate us, we can become wiser and more successful. Conversely, if we only surround ourselves with friends who always agree with us, we may become complacent and limit our potential for growth and improvement. To find one real friend in a lifetime is good fortune. To keep him is a blessing. This quote suggests that having a true friend is a rare and valuable thing, and it is even more special to be able to maintain that friendship over time. To better understand this quote, let's take the example of a person who moves to a new city and starts a new job. They may meet many people, but only a few of those people may become true friends. It takes time and effort to build a deep connection with someone, and it is not something that can be forced or rushed. Once a true friendship is established, it is important to work to maintain it. Life can be unpredictable, and friendships can be tested by distance, time, and other challenges. However, if both friends are committed to the relationship, they can overcome these challenges and maintain their bond. Another example could be a childhood friend who has been with you through thick and thin. They have been there to support you through all of life's ups and downs, and you have done the same for them. This type of friendship is rare and valuable, and it is important to cherish and nurture it. In essence, this quote reminds us that true friendship is a precious thing, and it is not something that can be taken for granted. It takes time and effort to build a deep connection with someone, and it is important to work to maintain that connection over time. By valuing and cherishing our friendships, we can experience the many benefits that come with having meaningful and lasting relationships in our lives. Silence is the sanctuary of prudence. This quote suggests that being silent or withholding information can be a wise and prudent course of action in certain situations. It can help to prevent misunderstandings and miscommunications, and can also protect us from potentially harmful consequences. To better understand this quote, let's take the example of a person who is in a high-stakes negotiation. If they were to reveal all their cards and intentions right away, it could weaken their negotiating position and make it harder to achieve their goals. By being silent and withholding certain information, 
they can protect themselves and their interests. In another example, imagine a situation where someone asks you a personal question that you don't want to answer. If you were to speak impulsively or reactively, it could create tension or hurt feelings. However, by being silent or choosing your words carefully, you can avoid unnecessary conflict and maintain positive relationships. In essence, this quote reminds us that being silent or withholding information can be a prudent and wise course of action in certain situations. By being thoughtful and strategic with our words, we can protect ourselves and our interests, prevent misunderstandings, and maintain positive relationships with others. To overvalue something is a form of lying. This quote suggests that when we overvalue something, we are not being honest with ourselves or others. It is a form of deception that can have negative consequences, both for ourselves and for those around us. To better understand this quote, let's take the example of a person who overvalues their possessions. They may have a luxurious car or a fancy house, and they may believe that these things define their worth as a person. However, in reality, these possessions are not what make them truly valuable or happy. By overvaluing their possessions, they are not being honest with themselves or others about what truly matters in life. In another example, imagine a person who overvalues their own opinions or beliefs. They may believe that their perspective is the only correct one, and they may be unwilling to consider other points of view. This can lead to close-mindedness and a lack of empathy for others. By overvaluing their own opinions, they are not being honest with themselves or others about the complexity of the world and the diversity of human experience. In essence, this quote reminds us that overvaluing something is a form of lying, both to ourselves and to others. By being honest about what truly matters in life and being open to different perspectives, we can avoid the negative consequences of overvaluing things and instead focus on what is truly important. Never do anything when you are in a temper, for you will do everything wrong. This quote suggests that when we are angry or upset, we are not in the right mindset to make good decisions or take appropriate actions. It is important to take a step back and calm down before taking any action. As acting impulsively in the heat of the moment can lead to negative consequences. To better understand this quote, let's take the example of a person who receives a harsh email from their boss. If they were to respond immediately, in a state of anger or frustration, they may say things that they regret or that could harm their relationship with their boss. However, if they take some time to calm down and think about their response, they can craft a more thoughtful and constructive message. In another example, imagine a person who is in an argument with their partner. If they were to continue arguing when they are both upset and emotional, it could escalate the situation and make it harder to find a resolution. However, if they take a break to calm down and think about the situation more objectively, they may be able to find a more productive way to address the issue. In essence, this quote reminds us that it is important to avoid taking action when we are in a state of anger or strong emotion. By taking a step back and allowing ourselves time to calm down and think rationally, we can avoid making mistakes and harming our relationships or other aspects of our lives. By acting thoughtfully and intentionally, we can achieve better outcomes and maintain positive relationships with those around us. Never compete with someone who has nothing to lose. 
This quote suggests that when we compete with someone who has nothing to lose, we are putting ourselves at a disadvantage. They may be more willing to take risks and be more aggressive in their approach, as they have nothing to lose. It is important to be strategic and thoughtful in our competitive pursuits and avoid engaging with those who have nothing to lose. To better understand this quote, let's take the example of a business competition. If a company is competing with a smaller, newer company that has nothing to lose, they may be more willing to take risks and be more aggressive in their marketing or business strategy. If the larger company engages in a direct competition, they may be at a disadvantage as the smaller company has nothing to lose. In another example, imagine a person who is in a dispute with someone who has nothing to lose, such as a person who is facing legal trouble and has little to lose in the court proceedings. If the person engages in a legal battle with this individual, they may be at a disadvantage as the person with nothing to lose may be more willing to take extreme actions to achieve their goals. In essence, this quote reminds us that it is important to be strategic and thoughtful in our competitive pursuits. By avoiding engagement with those who have nothing to lose, we can protect ourselves from unnecessary risks and negative consequences. It is important to carefully assess the risks and benefits of any competitive pursuit and choose our battles wisely. Never open the door to a lesser evil, for other and greater ones invariably slink in after it. This quote suggests that when we compromise our values or allow a small wrongdoing, it can lead to more significant negative consequences down the line. It is important to remain true to our principles and avoid opening the door to any form of wrongdoing, no matter how small. To better understand this quote, let's take the example of a person who is considering telling a small lie to get out of a commitment. While this may seem like a minor infraction, it could lead to a slippery slope of further dishonesty and compromise. If the person allows themselves to tell one small lie, they may be more likely to tell another and another until their honesty and integrity are compromised. In another example, imagine a person who is considering accepting a job with a company that engages in some unethical practices. While the person may think that they can overlook these practices, it could lead to further compromise down the line. If they accept this job and allow themselves to work for a company that engages in unethical behavior, they may be more likely to become complacent and accept other forms of wrongdoing. In essence, this quote reminds us that it is important to remain true to our principles and avoid any form of wrongdoing, no matter how small. By refusing to compromise our values, we can avoid the slippery slope of further compromise and negative consequences. It is important to be mindful of the decisions we make and their potential impact on our integrity and values. Thank you for watching. Subscriptions and likes are a great help in video production.